everyone, my name is Bridget and welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be playing a game and this game is called Would You Rather Animal Edition. This is no different than your standard Would You Rather game, but I asked you guys on social media to send me animal related Would You Rather questions and I'm going to answer those today. Now if you don't follow me on social media and you missed out on this little prompt, definitely follow my social medias. I'll have them linked in the description box below so the next time I do a video like this you guys can be involved. I definitely got some very interesting questions so I'm excited to get started and see how this video goes. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. As always make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and let's get into today's video. Alright so I have all of my questions over here next to me. The first one says, would you rather free handle a copperhead or hand feed an alligator? <sighs> now copperheads are a big no from me. And uh, alligators are pretty scary too, but I feel like I would be safer and okay if I could toss the food in the alligator's mouth. And you didn't specify how I could go about doing this, so I feel like I could be up on like a, on a dock or something away from the alligator and I could just, just, you know, just boop and be fine. Next question, would you rather ride a zebra or an okapi? If you don't know what an okapi is, they look like this. Oh, copies are a little creepy to me. Like, I feel like I definitely don't know enough about them to feel comfortable just like hopping on their back. So like, I gotta go with a zebra and like, poor zebra, you know what I mean? Next one, would you rather eat Pangea or Rapashi for a day? Although Rapashi's banana cream pie seems rather lovely, I have to go with Pangea. Every single one smells heavenly and I'm always tempted to give it a try, but I know that there are some really undesirable ingredients in there, so like I probably shouldn't taste it, right? Next one, would you rather let your Twitter followers rename all of your pets or would you rather never get a new pet ever again? I feel like the majority of my Twitter following are people that I consider my friends or at least people that I feel like understand me in a way. So I feel like a lot of their name choices really wouldn't be like the complete end of the world. Next one, would you rather move to Arizona and hang out with me or stay in Texas with your family? I'm sorry to give you hard questions. Well, Abigail, which I assume Abby is short for, but if Abby is not short for Abigail, you're just gonna be Abigail for this video. I don't really have much family here in Texas because I was not born in Texas, so I don't have much family to leave, to be honest. <laughs> Therefore, I would move to Arizona and hang out with you, but I am a package deal, lady. You gotta make room for my husband and our pets. You gotta make room for all of us, and you asked for it, so no take backs. Next one, would you rather you be able to talk to your animals and they understand you, but they can't talk back? Or have animals be able to talk to you and you understand them, but you can't talk back? First of all, good grief. Second of all, I feel like both have very positive outcomes. I frequently talk to my animals, but I know they don't understand what I'm saying. So like, I would want them to be able to understand me. However, I would also want them to be able to vocalize how they're feeling and what they want. I would of course want to be able to answer with words, but I can also use like body language to communicate back. Like if they say something that I'm okay with, I can just nod and be like, mm-hmm. But if they say something that I'm like not okay with, I can just like shake my head and be like, mm -mm. so I see both sides being good. But I think I would rather me be able to talk to them and them understand me, but they can't talk back. So I can at least be like, it's feeding day. I'm picking you up now. Can you not poop in your water dish? Thanks. Next one. Would you rather your pets turn into humans or you turn into an animal? Okay, now. <laughs> I would love to see all of my pets as humans because I know that would be one heck of a party, but I personally like my animals way more than I like humans, so I'm opting to be an animal, baby. That would still be one heck of a party. <laughs> Next one. Would you rather be a manatee or a blue whale? And why? I like both, and I think that both have very valuable qualities, but I think that the blue whale is so interesting because they are the largest animal to ever be known to exist, and they are currently considered to be endangered. So I feel like I'd wanna be a blue whale and kind of be able to show humanity like, hey, we're 
pretty great why don't you keep us around and like the manatees I know are considered to be threatened so they need that voice as well but I would personally want to be a blue whale in that sense plus I mean it would be like really cool to be that large and in charge you know okay next one would you rather only own male animals or female animals and now that I have dealt with the insanity that is my female bearded dragons infertile egg laying I would most definitely rather own males and males do come with their own issues depending on the species but they don't have all of those reproductive types of scares so I feel like they're a little bit less high maintenance all right next one would you rather have only birds or only lagomorphs so for those of you who don't know lagomorphs are mammals that are more like um, rabbits and hares and things like that and although I adore them with my whole heart I have to go with birds I love birds so much it's unhealthy and it they're not easy by any means I feel like lagomorphs would probably be a little bit easier than birds but I just I just love birds all right, next one. Would you rather eat a bearded dragon or a cat? It's a weird one, LOL, slanty face. <laughs> okay, to answer this question, I'm going to assume that if I eat either of them, I'm allowed to eat whatever part of them I choose. And since bearded dragons shed their old skin, I'm going to say that I would rather eat a bearded dragon's skin breaded on a chicken breast or something maybe made into a crouton I'll eat the skin once it's already been shed not like on the bearded dragon's body but that's as far as I go <laughs> can you imagine oh my gosh dinner at my house <laughs> all right next one would you rather own only reptiles or only mammals all right so a cat is a mammal and I cannot see myself not owning a cat and I now cannot see myself not owning reptiles ever I guess because cats are like the only mammals that I really feel like I can't live without but there are several reptiles that I feel like I can't live without then I'd rather say I would rather only keep reptiles and just have a cat sized hole in my heart for the rest of my life okay next one would you rather have an animal that is herbivorous or carnivorous that is such a tough one 90% of my pets are carnivorous like especially my snakes but vegetation is so much easier to come by and so much more inexpensive I gotta go with carnivorous sorry everyone else next one would you rather own snakes or geckos okay so I know that in my Q&A video that I did which was like forever ago I said that I cannot see myself living without geckos and I still feel that way 100% however snakes have quickly become like my whole heart and soul and I just cannot live without them like I physically cannot live without at least one snake so I am sorry to all the geckos in the world I still love you I still adore you you're the most precious beings on earth I want to kiss all of you and squish all your little heads and hold all of your little sticky toes but I gotta go with Next one, would you rather have interactive pets or just observational pets? Um, interactive for sure. I know that the majority of reptiles aren't really considered interactive and would prefer to just be observational, but I do interact with and handle all of my pets, those that let me anyway. <laughs> and like, I can't imagine having a room full of animals that I can only look at. I know that they don't enjoy it, but I thoroughly enjoy coming in here and taking them out, letting them explore things, watching their every move. And I know that there are some species that I do wanna own someday that aren't interactive and you just can't handle them, but I'd much rather have interactive pets for sure. Next one, would you rather own a Rankin's dragon or a frilled dragon? So if you don't know what a Rankin's dragon is, they look like this. They're basically like the bearded dragon's little cousin. They're basically a smaller version of a bearded dragon. And a frilled dragon looks like this. They're like literal dinosaurs. You know the scene in Jurassic Park where the cute little dinosaur comes up in front of the guy like in the rain outside of his Jeep and he's so cute and everything and then all of a sudden like his whole 
neck like flares out and he starts screaming. That's basically a frilled dragon. That's what they remind me of. And I've always been fascinated by them. I think they're so freaking cool and amazing. However, when it comes to owning one as a pet, I think I have to go with the Rankin's dragon. I am more interested in the frilled dragon, but in terms of like care requirements and everything, I think that I would feel more comfortable having a Rankin's dragon. Next one, would you rather own a giant amoeba lizard or a crocodile tegu? So a giant amoeba lizard looks like this and a crocodile tegu looks like this. And both of these guys are insanely cool and they're also pretty similar to me. When it comes to the amoeba, that blue and green gets me every time. And then when it comes to the tegu, that red coloration gets me every time. I love them both honestly, but the blue and green kind of hits my heart harder. So I think I would go with the amoeba and that is based only on appearance. I have no idea how each of these vary in terms of like care and temperament and everything. Next one, would you rather live in the middle of nowhere or in the city? Middle of nowhere, 100%. I cannot do the city. I can visit the city, but every time we go to the city, you can ask my husband, I become a big ball of anxiety. I feel so out of place. I hate the traffic. I hate the crowds of people. I hate the busyness. I'm just not a city girl. In the middle of nowhere can be dark and scary and full of like creepy things sometimes, but my gosh, it is peaceful and quiet and the stars are amazing. And it's just home. Next one, would you rather stay in Texas or go to a different state with better weather? <laughs> Texas sucks when it comes to weather. It's so hot here. It's either incredibly dry or it's incredibly humid. There really is no in between. We don't really have seasons. The forecast can change in a matter of like five minutes. It's just crazy. And my personal favorite weather of all time is like a really rainy, gloomy day with no sunshine. If I had my way, I would prefer to have actual seasons where the leaves change, to have like occasional snow in the winter time, and to have more rain for sure. But I love me some Texas. If I could keep Texas but change the weather, I would in a heartbeat. Next one, would you rather only be able to have fish or no pets at all? Golly, y'all really trying to take my babies away from me, huh? I would have to have fish. I really don't think that I would be a happy person if I didn't have at least one pet. And of all the different fish out there in the world that can be kept as pets, I think that could satisfy at least part of my pet loving heart. I would have a huge hole in that heart for all the other pets that I'm not allowed to have. But you know, at least I would have my fish friends and then like, I'd be okay. Next one, would you rather clean a turtle tank or a hamster cage. Each one freaking sucks, let's be honest. And I've never owned a turtle, but I know that a turtle tank is very similar to a large aquarium. That's a lot of work. And hamsters end up with like the messiest bedding of all time, full of more poop and food than you can ever imagine. So that's also a lot of work, but I think I'd rather clean a hamster cage because at least it's dry and I don't have to carry like really heavy buckets or anything. And it's, probably way more fun to set back up everything once it's all clean. Next one, would you rather be a rabbit for a day or a hamster for a day? While both are equally as cute and sweet and lovely, I think I'd rather be a hamster for a day because, okay, think about it. I can sleep curled up in a ball inside of a dark hide surrounded by like super soft bedding all day long if I want. And no one can complain about it because I'm a hamster. And I can also like stuff my cheeks with as many snacks as I can possibly fit in there to carry around with me and gnaw on later all day long if I wanted to and no one can complain about it because I'm a hamster. That just sounds like a really good time. All right, last one. Would you rather be bitten by a hog nose or have a tarantula loose in your home? All right, now this one's just mean. I own two hog noses and they are considered rear fanged venomous. So their bite would be equivalent to that of like a wasp or something. And I just so happen to be allergic to those. So one, I don't know if that bite or sting can really be comparable at all. And two, I don't know how I would react to it. I could die, who knows? I have no idea. But y'all also know that I cannot do arachnids. 
like tarantulas. And if I ever had one loose in my house, I would be crippled with anxiety and would probably never sleep again until it's found and secured. So honestly, I think I would just take my chances with the hognose bite. Well, all right guys, that is it for this video today. Just a silly little game of would you rather animal edition. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your way out. I really appreciate it. Also hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload next and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.